like that child my life was golden moving in these streets without being Moving in these streets without being noticed. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all go check out that description. Go click that link in the description. Go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Go follow my Spotify, my iTunes, Apple Music, all of that, man. Support your boy, man. The underdog of New York City, man. For real, for real, man. And salute everybody out there on their grind doing their thing, man. And I hope everybody doing well during these difficult times, man. And I hope you mentally... And physically, okay, man, because things is getting bad out here. Things is getting rough out here, man. But I just want to talk about random shit, and I just want to talk about New York hip-hop right now. And the hip-hop scene is dead-dead. Funeral dead-dead. Graveyard dead-dead. These rappers is dead-dead, B. Salute Ice Spice for holding us down, man. For holding us down. You got a female rapper holding New York City down, B. I'm the underdog. I don't want to be no famous artist. I don't want to be famous. I just want to make money. And I've been said that shit since I was little. I do not want to be famous. Be after hearing all these niggas out here getting jerked, signing wrong contract because they thirsty. They never have money. They never seen a stack. I seen stacks, B. And I still have stacks. Slow money better than no money, but it's all my money, my niggas. You know what I mean? I grew up, fortunately, with a family that was doing their thing. You know what I mean? But I still had to do my thing to to keep up, you know what I mean, my lifestyle. Because there wasn't no free handouts. When I was young, I used to get paid just for good grades, just to go to school, you know what I mean? I used to stay fly in school, man. Stay fly. You know what I mean? And as I was younger, I just learned from the other people's mistakes, you know what I mean? So Because I've been around Supreme, all these niggas, Dementio, everybody. My cousin just came home from doing 25 years, man. Salute my cousin Dow, man, from Flatbush. Y'all already know what it is. Crook Ave is the avenue. Be A lot of niggas used to be scared to go through Crook back in the days. Used to scared to be coming to the bush, be. Used to have to get permission to come to the bush. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, I, I learned from a lot of people's mistakes, especially these OGs that made bad mistakes and bad decisions, man. I need y'all to like the video, man. I need y'all to like that that video, I need y'all to subscribe. I need y'all to check out that dis link in the description, man. I need y'all to support me, man. Slow money better than no money, but it's all my money, man. But yeah, man, I'm here, man. Fortunately, 2023, and it feel good to be here, you know what I mean? Because I've been through a lot, man. I done hustled. I done went to school. I done did it all. I done worked. I done tried everything in my lifetime, man. I think I accomplished a lot, B, and I'm still here, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I'm just encouraging the young folks out there, man. Do your thing, man. Don't be following these niggas out here in the streets, man. Because when you get old, what you going to do? You ain't going to have shit. You're going to be depending on the government. You're going to be depending on your family members who ain't going to fucking want your ass. Who ain't going to have shit for you when you need it. You know what I mean? I ain't depending on nobody. I'm good, B. I'm sitting here with two MacBooks. I got nice crib. You know what I mean? I got food in my fridge. I'm all right, B. I got stacks in the bank. I'm good, B. But I'm, yeah, man, we just, I'm just talking about regular life shit, man. Just trying to, you know what I mean, uplift the youth, man. Because the youth right now is lost, man. Y'all fucking lost, B. Lost. And these dumbass people out here, these OGs out here ain't doing nothing. But leading y'all into the hellfire even more. Because they ain't even giving y'all a solution or any plans on how to better yourself as an individual. You know what I mean? Everybody want to be a rapper, man. It's more than fucking being a rapper out here, B. I didn't want to be no fucking rapper. I don't want to be famous. I never wanted to be famous. Be people like yo, you make you want you'll never be. I don't want to be famous. Be as long as I can make a few G's, a few thousand dollars here and there, I'm good and pay my bills when I want to pay my bills and do what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm alright with that. Be I'm alright with that. But just like I said, man, salute me, salute everybody out there on that grind. Be Harlem in the building, New York City in the building. Keep grinding, man. Slow money better than no money, but it's all my money, man. Moving these streets without being noticed, man. Hit that link in the description, man. Follow my webpage, man. Sign up for, with your email for shows, free giveaways, you know what I mean? New music dropping. You're going to get a lot of shit coming because I'm about to go hard in the paint, B. For real, for real, man. Like I said, I got love for everybody out there doing their thing. I don't wish no bad and no harm on nobody. Never, 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 ever, never wish no harm or no bad on nobody. You know what I mean? I just like to keep that positive energy around me. I don't fuck with negative energy. If, if I find you negative, I just distance myself. I don't sweat nobody. You do what you do. I do what I do. I don't care what you have. I don't care how you living. I don't care what kind of car you driving. I don't care who you fucking. I don't care what you wearing. 
Because a lot of you niggas out there looking the same, y'all sounding the same. Especially when it comes to this entertainment shit, man. Y'all looking the same and y'all sounding the same. And y'all dressing the same. Some of you niggas might even have the same pops. But yeah, just like I said, man, keep doing your thing. Stay sucking and hater free, man. Keep grinding, man. It's your boy moving in these streets without being noticed. Harlem Hip Hop LeBron James in the motherfucking building. Right now, I was just, I was just over here browsing Detroit Ave and shit, beef and shit with niggas. You know what I mean? But it's crazy out here. You know what I mean? I was out here just, just listening to some people reaction on Troy Ave, my son, and Maino B. I say my son got that one. Awesome, but for presentation and more fun and more shit to sing to in quotables, yeah. it have to be Troy Ave. Was, was, these dudes right here saying Troy Ave won the beef Troy. though. Like, but I don't understand though how you tell a nigga his chain is fake, but you have this shit for seven years, B. And then you wearing shit in your music videos. This is crazy out here, man. Salute everybody, man. I don't hate nobody. I got love for everybody. I'm not talking bad about nobody, man. Cause I'm not better than nobody else, you know what I mean? I'm a writer, man. I can do what I want to do, when I want to do, my bills is paid. And I ain't asking none of you niggas for no money. I ain't asking none of you niggas for no features. I ain't asking none of you niggas to put me in no position. Cause when I was in the streets when I was little, I put myself in position, my niggas. I knew the streets wouldn't be there all my motherfucking life. So I saved for better days and rainy days, man. See, a lot of niggas wasn't thinking like that, man. I ain't go out there and buying all the flashy cars and all that shit. I brought clothes, but I saved more money. The clothes ain't nothing. I saved money, I didn't buy no shoes. Fresh off the breezy neck tour. Chain Yo, this shit is so funny, B. I don't, I don't mean to laugh, B, but this beef is so funny, B. And every day in the streets and on the internet, everywhere we go, it's us against us, man. It's just us against us at everything we do, man. It's not us against them trying to better us and our communities. We don't even give a fuck about our communities, man. These niggas out here ran through millions and millions and billions of dollars, man. The people that came from nothing to something, and they still ain't go that back to community and build shit, B. Nothing. I wish I had that opportunity, man, and resources, B. Right. I'll be out here trying to help motherfuckers, man. It's like a dominoes effect. When you help somebody, that person helps somebody, that person they help help somebody, and it keep going like a cycle. It's like a dominoes effect, man. And we could better this world. Tupac said that shit, man. They got little Africa, they got little Italy, they got all of this shit, but they don't have little nothing for us. They got little Italy. All of this little shit. They ain't got no little Africa. Only thing we got is the fucking ghetto and we don't even own that. And they're about to take over that because they're about to redo these projects. They get tired of you niggas at the project, living in the projects, paying $300, $200 rent and pulls up to the projects in the fucking Tesla and the fucking Mercedes and the BMW. They getting tired of that shit, B. It's about time to pay, get off welfare. Stop depending on the government, especially you bitches, man. Especially you chicks, B. You bitches out here bad, B. You want to take your baby daddy to child support where you can get more money if you just come to agreement with each other. Because once you go through child support, you got to go through the city. They got to take their shit before you even get your fucking check. Then you bitches is getting this check and you just spending it on yourself. You're not even spending it on the kids. Then you put your kids all in this fashion. These motherfuckers can't even read or write. This shit is fucked up out here, dude. This shit is fucked up out here, man. They putting their kids all in this fashion. These kids out here can't even read and write. But they know what clothes they got on. I got on Ralph Lauren. I got on the Mary's. I got on Gucci. But you can't even fucking read. Probably can't even spell Gucci. Shit sad out here, B. Shit sad out here, B. My people got, we got our priorities all fucked up, B. I'm glad I'm not part of y'all, man. I'm glad I'm not part of that, man. That vibe y'all got going on out there. I don't worship no celebrities. I don't worship none of these niggas. These niggas is the devil, B. These niggas sold us out so they could be on top, continue supporting their fancy lifestyle. Y'all don't understand this shit, man. Y'all really think these celebrities care for you? Hell no. You could be down and out. These, these celebrities won't help you. You could need a couple of thousand just to keep your, a roof over your head. 
You think one of the motherfuckers will help you? Hell no. Fuck out of here. I don't look for no help, man. My mama raised me to get up and get off my ass and go get what the fuck I want so I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. And right now, B, I'm happy. I'm satisfied, B. I got God on my side. I got a nice family on my side, man. I got a few good friends because I don't have a lot of friends, B. I don't want no friends. Everybody not your fucking friend, B. Some people just around for the opportunity. And I seen that shit from when I was in the street. I'm getting all the money in the world, everybody around. Niggas, before you even come outside, niggas is looking for you. We going to club and I'm buying bottles. We doing everything. Making sure niggas eat. Niggas is eating, taking, you know what I mean? Hustling with me, getting money to feed their family. I made sure niggas was good, man. Even though I was bad, as I think about it, as I got older, B, I was tearing up the neighborhood. But we wasn't about no violence. We was just about getting money. But I done sold crack to people's parents, B. I done sold drugs to people's parents, man. And some of these kids out here... It's crack babies, cokehead babies, you know what I mean? They parents were smoking while they was pregnant with them. Shit like that, man. You know what I mean? I take back a lot of shit, B, that I went through, man, and seen. I seen it all, man. I grew up in Harlem, B. I've been around all the gangsters, my nigga, all the gangsters. I had opportunities to be on top, top. I ain't want to be on top, top. I didn't even never have to go to the streets. Only time I had to go to the streets was after they killed my uncle in 1993. Rest in peace, Charles Whitaker. When the preacher crew from Harlem killed my uncle, that's when I had to go to the streets. Because otherwise, I was getting anything I wanted, anytime. As long as I was doing good in school. Uncle was taking me to movies on trips, giving me envelopes of money. You know what I mean? But these hating ass, bum ass niggas, these niggas were straight up bums, B. They glorify all this shit on the internet. Half of that shit on the internet, these people is telling y'all about these preacher cool and all these niggas. Half of that shit is fucking false, B. The murders is true, but far as getting money, false, B. These niggas wasn't getting no money. Why you think they had to go the extortion route? These niggas wasn't getting no bread, B. And you know what I'm saying? As I grew up and shit, I, started, I didn't know what the fuck was going on at first when my uncle got murdered. But as I started getting older, you know, you and the streets going to talk. And you know, my family knew a lot of people. And my uncle was very loved. And my family is loved. So, you know what I mean? That shit was bullshit. I grew up around a lot of shit, B. You know what I mean? That was one of my real... 1993, July 22nd, man, when my uncle got shot, man. And that's the crazy part, B, because I remember that day hearing that shit. And I was on the corner of 149th Street under the canopy because they were doing construction on the building right there on the corner on 8th Avenue. And I'm sitting there just crying out tears, B. And this bum-ass nigga going to come to me and say, yo, sorry from your condolences, not knowing that he's down with the preacher crew and they had something to do with it. This shit's sad out here, B. These niggas were straight up bums, B. I salute all of them, though, because they had to do what they had to do. They wanted to make a name for themselves, but they didn't do nothing but destroy their own fucking lives and made mamas and fathers cry, man, and, and children cry. But you know what I mean? That's why the motherfuckers was either life in jail or still in fucking jail, B. They grow old in jail. They ain't have no visits. Nobody coming to see these niggas, B. You suffering. And hopefully everybody that you murdered, every time you close your eyes with that cell lock, nigga, you seen everybody in every corner that you murdered. You know what I mean? But shit, that's what part of my fucking life, man, that preacher crew, B. That's what turned me to the streets, and when I was in the streets, I was getting money, B. And as I got older, I started realizing what was going on and started watching my back. It's to the point I was living in Parkchester. I used to sleep with two nines on my motherfucking nightstand. When I get off the elevator, I used to look both ways because that's how they caught my uncle getting off the elevator, putting his garbage in the incinerator. You know what I mean? I used to look both ways, but I had to... And I used to tell the cabs back in the day because I wasn't driving it. I used to tell the cabs to take different routes to my crib up in Parkchester. And one time I seen a nigga in Parkchester, but he didn't see me. So I just kept walking past my building, you know what I mean? Because you never let a nigga see you going into a building or somewhere, especially if they hang out with the fucking enemy. But yeah, man, salute everybody out there doing your thing. Stay positive, stay focused. 
The streets ain't nothing, man. The streets is dead, dead, B. The streets is a myth, B. Gang violence is a myth, B. Selling drugs is a myth, B. Get your shit together. If you can't go back to school, get an education. Educate yourself. Build your credit. Get your shit together. You don't need nobody. And for all these young dudes out there, you don't need no record deal. If you build your credit, you're still young. And get your shit together. You can give yourself thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of money for your own record deal, B. You can sign yourself. You go get loans for damn near half a million dollars, B. $200,000, depending on how your credit is. But yeah, I just want the youth to do right, man. Stop looking up to these fake-ass cornball niggas. All these niggas out here, they just leading y'all to hell hope so they could continue their successful lifestyle, living good. Because without y'all, they wouldn't be living good, man. So stop following these niggas, man. Because these niggas ain't do right, and y'all see that shit. None of these rappers got shit in the neighborhood that they come from. Name a rapper that got something in the neighborhood they come from. They can't be from my city. Can't be from New York. Because these New York rappers ain't do shit for the city. Nothing. All they did was diss each other, destroy each other, and downplay each other. That's all they did, man. But salute to everybody doing their thing once again. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting more often. Things like this. I might go live once in a while. I'm still fairly new to this YouTube shit. I'm trying to fill it out and see what direction I really want to go in. Because I got a lot of directions to go in. Streets, education, how to get your money and shit together. How to stay sucking hater free. But salute everybody, man. Subscribe to my channel, man. Check out that link in the description. Go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Check out my music. And if you fucking with me, share my music, man. I don't want to be famous. And I said that shit years ago. I used to be on, I was on the bus with Ice Cube, Yo-Yo, Eric Sherman, all of these niggas when Ice Cube came out with that America's Most Wanted CD after leaving NWA. When they came to the Apollo on 125th Street back in the days, I was there. I was on the bus. I don't know how, but somehow I got on that motherfucking bus, B. But I was young. I really didn't know nothing. You know what I mean? I was excited because I used to look up to the rappers, but not like Ice Cube and all them back in the day because they was kicking that gangster hard shit. I really didn't want to know what gangster hard shit was when I was like fucking 12, 11 years old. I really didn't know that shit. You know what I mean? But something, everybody's not meant for the rap game. You know what I mean? Sometimes shit ain't meant to happen for you, man, because you know what I mean? Of advantage and all of this shit. So just stay focused, stay humble, stay hating, sucker free. And watch out for the people you, you call your friends, because a lot of these niggas out here ain't your friends, man. They not your motherfucking friends, B. They not your friends, B. They not, B. Ain't nobody your friend. Only friend you have is God. God's your only fucking true friend, B. You have family, but friends, God is your true friend. He's with you 24-7, 724, 365-563. Remember that. Go subscribe to my Instagram. Follow me. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my link in the bio. Fuck with your boy. Slow money better than no money, but it's all my money, man. Holla at me, man. Moving these streets without being noticed. One. Skyscraper. I rise in skyscraper. Tops. Plenty paper, Money. plenty paper. We getting it. Tell my haters, tell them what. Tell my haters, tell them what. I'm on a mission. I'm on one. I see them later. Let's get it. Skyscraper, uh. skyscraper. All them. Plenty paper, one four nine. Plenty paper. Hey, tell my haters, tell my haters. We're I'm on a mission. Let's get it. I see them later. You know what time it is? Skyscrapers, new paper. Green gators matching new paper. Money. Ice, silver, and black Oakland Raiders. Shining. More money, more problems, more haters. <laughs> I'm serving all tables like a waiter. Wait, wait, your orders. Feeling like Snowman got my waiter. Yeah. Riding down a fab bump and Jada. All them. Let it to big, y'all know what baby, it baby. is. Skyscraper. I ride skyscraper. Tops. Plenty paper. Money. 
Plenty paper. We it. Tell my haters. Tell them what? Tell my haters. Tell them what? I'm on a mission. I'm on one. I see them later. Let's get it. Skyscraper. Uh. Skyscraper. All of them. Plenty paper. Plenty paper. Hey, Tell my haters. Tell my haters. We're I'm on a mission. Let's get it. I see them later.